All right, we are back at it again. Crash of the Titans, number 67. Four-star Namor versus four-star Human Torch, Jim Hammond. Um, or Hammond, I don't know how you guys want to pronounce it. Let's get into this. My Namor is 16,007 health. He's level 276. I'm surprised it's not higher than that. 355. I don't know if that's the correct build for him. That's what I left him at when I champed him. Uh, we're going to go over... His powers, and then when we get into the match, we're going to go over Jim Hammond's powers. Or Hammond, however the hell you guys want to pronounce that. Um, Human Torch. Uh, okay, let's see. I don't know if we really want to use any supports or team-ups. Not too sure, but let's get into his powers. Champion, excuse me. Name War the Boy. Um, 276, 16,007 health. Uh, and Namor's Mercy is the lack power. Let's see. Power cost 11. Prince Namor strikes down his foes, but bestows upon them a boon. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, for his Mercy knows no bounds, deal 2,732 damage and destroy 3 AP in the enemy's strongest color. Then the enemy team gains 1 black. Okay, so Jim Hammond doesn't use black. Uh, let's see, this deals 5,000 for 11, uh, destroys 4 AP in the enemy team's strongest color. So Jim Hammond's powers are cheap, 6, 7, and 8, I think that's what they cost, or 7, 7, 8, or 6, 7, I don't know. And we'll go over them right now. Uh, for now, we're going to leave this at 3, then we're going to go over the other two. Let's see what happens. This is single target damage. It's, I mean, I'm assuming that it's going to be good because Jim Hammond's powers are cheap and very very dangerous they hit hard imperious rex power cost 12 okay and this is at five namor bursts forth from the waves attacking any who dare oppose him deals 758 damage for each blue tile on the board uh human torch doesn't use blue then destroy a random set of tiles in the shape of a trident of neptune the short tiles do not gain AP, but they deal damage. It doesn't specify that they don't deal damage right here. Um, okay, so this one could be deadly. All right, well, let's go do his purple Atlantis attacks. Power costs nine. The Submariner uses ancient Atlantean technology to unleash a tidal wave upon the surface world. Converts five basic tiles to blue. If there are ten or more blue tiles remaining after any matches are made, deal 5,350 damage to the enemy team. Okay, um, so Human Torch kind of counters Namor in the sense of I have to activate my powers to kill him. I can't just beat him with max damage, even though my Namor is champ and 276. Um, Human Torch is yellow passive, I think. Um, puts out a strike tile every time I activate one of my powers. I think that's how we'll go over his powers right now. Um, but says, this says, if there are 10 or more blue tiles remaining after any matches are made, deal 5,350 damage to the enemy team. Okay, so this, is hit, this hits for AoE. And this basically buffs his green. So I activate this. Put five tiles out on the board uh, that are blue. Then make a match. Um, hopefully leaving blue tiles out on the board. And making sure there are ten left. Then I deal 5,000. So this is like a 50-50 shot thing, right? Like 60-40. So this one, seven, this one says deal 758 damage for each blue tile on the board. So. Hmm. I could activate Atlantis attacks, then use Imperious Rex, then make a match, hopefully dealing 5,000 after everything's destroyed. I'm kind of thinking, let's see, 4 deals 425, so deals 700. Okay, this doesn't change at all. This only changes 425 at 4. Let's see what this does at 4. Converts 4 basic tiles, it's 1 less. Instead of 5,000, deal 3,000. Okay. 
So this is single target damage. So we're going to put this. We're going to put this at 5. This is guaranteed damage. And then 4-4, four, 5-4-4. Four, four, four. We're going to try that out. All right, let's get into this. We're not going to use no boost, no nothing. Um, we're going to get into Human Torch's powers real quick. Close this. Red, Blaze Beyond Control, Wildfire is green, and Burning Persistence is yellow. His Blaze Beyond Control costs 8. Oh, it's 8, 6, 0. He has a passive. Okay. So the Human Torch goes Nova, draining his energy reserves to blast the enemy with immense heat. Destroys all friendly repeater tiles, dealing damage and generating AP, and dealing 2,508 damage to the enemy team. Damage to the enemy team is increased by 1,254 for each repeater tile destroyed. Holy crap. So this one's going to be interesting. He's at 291. 13,533 damage. So this one goes with his green. The Human Torch hurls fire at his enemies. Igniting a firestorm creates a one-turn green repeater tile that deals 487 damage to a random enemy. Um, at the start of your turn, if there is at least one of the Human Torch's green repeater tiles on the board, create an additional one-turn green repeater tile. Maximum five. So he's going to, you know, I don't know how the AI works. So maybe he's going to activate Wildfire. Then Blaze Beyond Control. Uh, his passive, I think it only works if he creates, a, uh, if he activates his powers. So as long as his allies fight on the Human Torch's flames, fight on, the Human Torch's flames will never be extinguished. Whenever an ally fires a power, fortify a friendly repeater tile and create a strength 366 yellow strike tile. Okay. So green, ready. Green and red is. You know the order that he wants activated at. So this was gonna be kind of interesting. So we're gonna match black to deal single target damage, and then if we happen to get purple and green up. We're going to use purple, then green, then make a match. Hopefully, there's ten blue on the board left. None of us use blue, so that shouldn't that shouldn't really be a problem. Nice. No, don't want you to do that, sir. Green. Okay, so far, so good. Let's see, he has four green, nine red. What's his strongest color? Red? Okay, so that's what we're going to want to use this on. Keep him from using his red. We are going to take passive damage. This is a very bad board. Let's see. Hmm. Oh god. Green. Oh man. This is uh. Okay, we're... Oh my god, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So, he has 5,155 health. Um, let me see. Deal 4,200... Or deal 425, I'm sorry. Damage for each blue tile on the board. Then destroy a random set of tiles in the shape of tribe. Okay, let's see. 4, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12, that's 3,600, 3,700, hmm, should we do this right, yeah, we can do this, oh my god, that was tight, that was amazing. So you don't have to activate, you don't have to wait, no, obviously you don't, it doesn't say. Um, you don't have to wait to activate this. I just wanted to activate this, then this, then make the match, and hopefully deal a 
buttload of damage all at once. But in my case, I needed to activate this. It worked out really well. Um, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight blue tiles out on the board. Um, let's see. Let's try to get purple match. There's nine. Oh, never mind. He just matched them away. Okay. Well, he's going to die regardless. Or not. <laughs> did not did not calculate that right. Oh no, he needs one more red match. Hmm. We still won. <laughs> we still won. Okay. Um you can play it play it out how I described. Um, or you can just play it out however you want. So that was that was kind of uh Hmm. Not how I wanted it to go, but I beat it, so that's good. Another one down. Uh, don't know how much more we need to go, but I can't wait. There are, let me see. So 544 makes the most sense for Namor, because it doesn't really change the outfit. It doesn't change anything. It really doesn't. It does not change anything. So if you have them champed, 544 four, or 355 five if you want to, you know, nuke them. Doesn't really matter. But I say his black power is, is like what you need to use fast. You need to match as much black tiles as possible because as you can see, Human Torch is no joke. He literally did, he dealt 6k damage to me in what, I mean... Four turns, five turns. If you guys want to put in the comment section below, I don't know how much turns that was, but uh, this was probably one of the more difficult Crash of the Titans, and it will be difficult for those of you who do not have any more champs. I'm letting you guys know right now. Uh, purple is a 50/50 chance. If you get purple up two or three times, or even two times, you could beat them. I don't know. Um, MPQ is life. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. I said that backwards. Let me say it again. I appreciate all the support, guys. Everybody's like, I'm out.